Hey, it's Jessica Goose here with realagriculture.com. And joining me right now is Jason Hardy, who is the global product manager for Seed Product within New Holland. Jason, how are you doing today? Very good. Yourself? I'm doing quite well, thank you, especially at the Western Canadian Crop Production Show here in Saskatoon, uh, yes. Saskatchewan. Uh, now, for those that can't make it here, yep. this is why we're doing this video, because New Holland has kind of been rolling out uh, their new drill. So explain to me kind of what's, uh, what are we going to see from New Holland here this year? Well, we're pretty excited this year. We've got actually two new models of uh, uh, air drills that we're bringing to market, uh, which combine really well with our P-Series air carts. And uh, we've really excited about uh, two products in particular, is a new double shoot disc drill, which is the P-2082 model, um, available from 30, 40, 50, and 60 foot widths. Uh, with 10 inch spacing and we're really highlighting that product at the show this week yeah. uh, from a couple different standpoints uh, really promoting the agronomy side of this product as well um, and with that we're also highlighting another new product which is the P2075 and that's an updated precision hold drill okay. um, and it's a full back product and uh, kind of goes with the uh, flexi coil heritage which we're really proud of uh, from the New Holland brand uh, which is built in Saskatoon and that's another new product that we're highlighting at the show this week as well. Awesome. So two new things. We're rolling them out. A lot of people are in your booth uh, eager to see them. Uh, explain to me first maybe about the uh, P2082. Sure. I'll first uh, touch on that. Uh, the 2082 is a wing-up style drill. Um, the primary purpose behind the dish drill is to look at trying to get the seed and fertilizer placement optimum as, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, our c customers are really looking for that today. We're demanding more and more of that. So. Uh, we went back to the books of this product. We've had the single shoot product out for a few years now. Okay. Uh, it's actually been three years uh, since we launched the single shoot. And uh, we get the constant question, when are you guys coming out with double shoot, double shoot? Because they really like the product. The durability is outstanding. It's setting mm -hmm. the, raising the bar for disc drills in particular. Yep. There's always a big uh, concern with a disc drill generally is the durability, the maintenance required with the disc drill product. And, uh, uh, we're, we're actually changing the game with this product because uh, that's one thing we'll highlight, we'll be highlighting with the customers as well. Uh, I mean, grease uh, points, there's only two grease points on the opener itself okay. once a year. Uh, maintenance is nothing unusual. It's very typical to a standard hoe drill, mm -hmm. um, but you get all the benefits of the disc drill. The big one, especially being productivity, being able to seed a lot more acres and a lot quicker time period. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, the big challenge we have today with our customers is the seating window is tight and yeah. they got to pound in a lot of acres in a hurry and we truly believe this product is going to be able to satisfy that need for our customer. Mm -hmm. And talk to me about the uh, the kind of adjustment that you guys made to that per row unit. Sure, sure. So uh, the big part of this row unit was to design it to accommodate a seed boot and also maintaining the disc drill opener as well. So it's kind of a hybrid combination where we're uh, putting the fertilizer down through the uh, the disc coulter mm -hmm. and the seed is being put down with a seed boot that's off to the side in a side band style application. Mm -hmm. um, and we, what we found with the, a lot of the agronomy and research work that we've done with this product, and we've actually had it in farmer fields, uh, uh, test fields already, oh, wow. uh, full production units. Um, the results are outstanding in terms of the emergence, um, the seed, the fertilizer placement consistency, which is just out of this world. So there's some real key points that we're really trying to focus on. So um, we're gonna be doing a lot more work with this product this spring. Uh, we are uh, in full production right now with this product. Uh, we have uh, customers that are gonna be trying out first time this year uh, that have purchased the product. And uh, we're really gonna be taking their message uh, to the next guy coming down the road that's exactly. gonna be really, really looking forward to that as mm -hmm. well. So. And then the other one that you guys are rolling out, the 2075, I believe? Correct, yeah. yes, yeah. Explain to me that one. Yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about the precision drill. Uh, the market is still very significantly uh, dominated with precision drills in Western Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we did with our, we had a great product previously. We had some concerns on the depth adjustment. Uh, okay. was, I'm not, uh, not going to sugarcoat it too yeah. much, but uh, so we've improved that on this new product. Uh, it takes only a couple seconds to adjust the row unit. No tools required. Um, maintenance is basically zero on the row unit itself. Um, again, the, the big advantage we get with this product is it's a parallel row unit, mm -hmm. uh, which is consistent across our, our uh, disc drill as well. Okay. Uh, the parallel row unit maintains the angle of attack to the swell, 
which really maintains that seed to fertilizer placement, which is critical. Which is critical. Uh, I was going to say, that's usually what, <laughs> what producers would yeah, want. Yeah, you know, compared to a lot of the competitive drills out there, and even like a standard C shank or hole drill, mm -hmm. uh, we really, really raise the bar in terms of, of seed and fertilizer placement with that product. Okay. Now we've combined that with the ability to easily adjust, it's a win-win. <laughs> And now, New Holland is really kind of not shifting its focus. It's always been there with agronomy, and you've touched on this already a little bit. Yep. Um, but you guys are really trying to put that in the limelight now. Explain yes. to me why. Um, reason, because from our standpoint, we uh, truly believe that uh, in order to have a great product, you got to have the agronomy to back it up. Yep. And uh, that's a, a lot of attention on our product development. Um, starts with the agronomy side of it. Uh, are we doing the right things, making the right choices mm -hmm. for our customer? Um, not just productivity, and of course we want to sell the iron as well, yep. but we have to make sure that uh, we are delivering a product that is uh, raising the bar for the industry. And that's what Flexico did back in the day. Yep. And we're trying to really bring that back into light. Uh, we've got agronomists on staff within CNH. Uh, full-time agronomists mm -hmm. uh, to help with that procedure um, and uh, they're going to be doing more of that work in once we get this product uh, delivered to the customer as well mm -hmm. so we're mm -hmm. really looking forward to that which is good that you guys are, are championing that now not that yes. you again it's not that you haven't uh, you've never stopped that it's yeah. just more you're, you're bringing that uh, to the limelight right which yeah, is good or, yeah, to we're the putting front. A, a little more attention on the agronomy side of it uh, we've Last couple of years, we always were working on that, but we're mm -hmm. putting a lot more focus on it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, again, you touched on this already a little bit previously. When are we going to see these uh, drills in the field? Do you have some testing going on right now? What can you tell me about that? Yeah, we actually ran a couple, uh, uh, well, there's five drills we ran last season okay. in various parts of Western Canada and Northern U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, to get acres on, get feedback, which is really critical, make sure that we're doing the right things. Uh, we uh, truly believe a baby must learn to crawl before it can walk. Yep. And uh, we now are, are now into full production on both products for this spring, full retail units. And we're going to be delivering them for, for this spring seeding season. So really looking forward to that. Perfect. Just around the corner. You bet. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you.